I'm, I have the honor to sit here with uh, Dr. Heiko Schoeni. Um Heiko, we have been working very hard in the past few weeks. What have you been doing? Well, I just played my part. I'm a medical doctor and, um, well, I played a little bit the German part in this international great alliance that develops. But you are, you are trying to get doctors internationally aligned. That's why we had a conference on last Friday in Driebergen. And now today we had uh, a similar meeting because in Driebergen, the French and the Belgians couldn't really make it, but they were here today. Um, what do you find I in general is the common ground in every country? What is going on? Why are these doctors coming together? Why are they traveling <laughs> from their patients to see you and to see me, to see international lawyers? Well, I think... It's a sense of responsibility. I think the common sense that we share, and I'm happy that it's not only the doctors, it's even the lawyers mm -hmm. now yeah, coming into the scene. I think it's a sense of responsibility what we share. Responsibility in terms of our profession. We see that something is not right. Yeah, It's not legal for telling this for their lawyers and it's just not uh, right in a um, scientific way and it's not good and not healthy for our patients. Democracy is put aside, measurements are being taken that are counterproductive for the national health and the international health situation of all the people. So a lot of people think that When you question what the government does, you immediately, you're a conspiracy thinker. Um, that's what we hear. But to question the things that are going on, isn't that to you very necessary? Because things are getting lost, like science and like democracy. Well, But for what? Do you yeah. have any idea for what? Yeah. To question things is natural. It's just a natural thing to do this. And if we see that the facts did not add up here, yeah, we see this with the era that in Europe, yeah, this SARS-CoV-2 virus is not a killer virus. We just see this out of the statistics. Yeah, and we see all this, uh, well, we need to say this organized crime with this uh, statistics and what's going on. Because the measurements, uh, the governments all over Europe are taken are not in line with, with the facts. We could do this every year with, uh, with a flu. Mm -hmm. yeah? With this now, flu, uh, flu like symptoms with this COVID-19. So we need to stand up because what happens, it's really tremendous that People are not getting their um, their operations in March and April to, uh, 2020. These are facts from from the, or the German government, uh, from the Ministry of Interior itself. They said in these two months, 90% of all necessary operations, mm -hmm. yeah, so surgery, um, uh, have been not performed. So people are suffering in Germany. This were 2.5 million people that uh, um, suffered out of this. And we see a lot of suicides because of, of this uh, things going on. We see that the economy is breaking down and it's now time to ask the right questions. And the right question is, okay, we see it's not done by facts. It's, uh, it's done by interests. So who has got the power to organize this? in an orchestrated international way, uh -huh. first. Second, cui bono, in Latin. Yeah? Who gets out the profit out of this? These are the two right questions. The medical, well, system, uh, the medical problem is not important. Mm. Well, people are afraid of the medical problem, though. Of course, because... Um, They look at the television, they look at the mass media, they listen to their 
uh, to their governments, yeah, and they uh, they telling this story, but the uh, the story is just not true. And then we're coming back to responsibility. It's us to give the punch, yeah. But also, a lot of doctors believed their government. Of course. Did you believe their your government at first? Uh, not in this part, because, well, I'm very into the details and I gave her an interview uh, one year ago. Um, and I predicted this, that this will happen, yeah. this event. It's still out. Yeah, It was broadcasted on the 11th of September 2019. And it's not a joke. Everybody could could follow this up. And yeah. we had this panic orchestrated panic, we had this in 2001 with Antrix, and it's the same pattern. So we need to step up to say, well, not a second time, yeah, because um, we need to care about our people, our children. What will be next? <laughs> next will be um, that we are going to first inform other people, and that's hard because uh, we do not have the state media, we do not have the private media, just to give an uh, official number, 99.5% of all newspapers mm -hmm. you are able to buy in a kiosk, in a, um, in a shop in, uh, in Germany, coming from five private companies. 99.5%. And these are official numbers from the first German television. Mm -hmm. So, well, <laughs> you see where this indoctrination came from. And what will be next for the doctors? Oh, the next for the doctors. As you know, we have this great um, movement now, Ärzte für Aufklärung. So, Doctors for the Truth, uh, in Spanish, Medicus por la Verdad. And we... Um, we created as well an extra parliamentary mm -hmm. uh, inquiry committee on COVID-19. Mm -hmm. So because the parliaments didn't do this, so we did it by ourselves. And we laid down all the facts, mm -hmm. and now it's time to get the movement. And we had this great demonstration in Berlin mm -hmm. on the 1st of August. We had around a million people, mm -hmm. and on the 29th of August, we had m much more than a million people over there. Mm -hmm. And we had um, Robert Kennedy as a speaker as well. Um, I spoke to more than one million people, and this just liked facts. And we will create, uh, we will do this again in October 2020 in Berlin. So again, Berlin invites Europe, come to Berlin demonstrate with us and this time we will stay so let's get your camping equipment with you we will stay there for long and we will meet each other in berlin i believe of course and i hope to invite you after that back to the netherlands to meet many more doctors who have seen that whatever is going on does not align with their uh, conscious and their ethical uh, uh, professional behavior. Yeah, and I need to thank you, Sven, that you brought us all together here. So I think it's a good place here in, in the Netherlands to come together like we did today with the Belgian, with the French, uh, with uh, uh, doctors here from the US on the Zoom meeting and so on and so on. Um, it's a good place here and it was good conferences. Thank you very much. The Netherlands have played a very important role throughout history. They have taken over the world, they have destroyed the world, but they have also been able to bind the world in a way. And we hope to understand that the Netherlands can melt cultures and therefore understand all different European cultures and then find mm -hmm. the consensus between the British the French, the Germans, the Spanish, the Scandinavians, the Italians. Because the Dutch, we honor national boundaries, mm -hmm. but we also understand that humanity has shared values. And I believe it is from those shared values that you and I 
try exactly. to find each other so that we can better help the people that seek our help. Exactly. We are one family of mankind. Thank you very much. Si nous sommes des millions à descendre dans la rue, si nous sommes des millions, rien ne nous arrêtera.